what is up you guys welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be a video that i have been waiting for like since this shit launched new color pop no filter foundation as well as their loose setting powder in the shade translucent before we get started into the review though if you are not yet a part of our t-squad family you would like to join don't forget to subscribe in the link down below subscribe i also have a giveaway going on in my last video i have the morphe vault collection two palettes giveaway going on <laughs> whatever i said yeah it's going on um, so check that video out right after this one. Follow me on all social media, Snapchat, Instagram. I think that's all. Snapchat and Instagram. Follow me there. Give this video if you like reviews, very honest reviews. And with that being said, guys, if you want to know my thoughts on this foundation, if you want to know if this foundation worked out for my skin or not, if you want to know if the powder is shit or not, then let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to be priming my face because that's usually um, what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. So while we let that primer sink into the skin, I'm going to be reading a little bit of the claims of this foundation. So this foundation does have a 5 star rating, which I'm kind of excited um, for. It does come in 42 different shades, which in my opinion, I feel like it's amazing, it's incredible that they included a lot of um, shades. It just says that it's a natural matte finish, oil-free formula, and that it's supposed to be full coverage. So that's what we are going to be testing out today. This is what the packaging looks like. As you guys can see, it's in a glass-like bottle. It does not come with a cap on the actual foundation. On this side of my face, I'm gonna use the Morphe E6, and then on the other half, I'm gonna be using the Morphe sponge. Ooh. This might not be my shade, but that's okay. We can work with it. Um, it is very runny, very liquidy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dot this all over my skin. Hey okay, guys, so that is one pump. I'm going to go ahead and blend it. Alrighty, so so far to me, it's looking like a BB cream. Um, it's not covering my rosacea right here. Um, it's definitely like separating right here. So I don't think it's full coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and apply one pump with the uh, sponge on the other half of my face I really want to know what the hype is about like the hype is real for this foundation and I'm like hmm I've seen mixed reviews I've seen people love it I've seen people hate it so I really I really want to know like what's the real tea you know so that is my face with one pump on each side of my face to be very honest with you guys i don't like it right now um i feel like it's really really sheer it's separating around here um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build it with a brush and then go over it with a sponge to kind of get more product so i'm going to go in with two more pumps on the back of my hand we're just going to go ahead and build this coverage wise um i feel like it gave me the same amount of coverage with the brush and the sponge so just gonna go ahead and build this up and kind of see if I could get it to full coverage. Foundation is nowhere near matte. It's very very dewy. Um, I'm gonna have to wait and see how it sets down. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to kind of blend the product into my skin. I feel like I got it to medium coverage. I still wouldn't say this is full coverage because um, I can still see my under eye area right here. I can see my redness around my nose, um, and it is creasing a bit right here. So. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that because I feel like this one is not too, too buildable. I feel like if I put more, it's just going to go everywhere. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Moving on to concealer, I thought it would be a good idea to use their concealer. I do have four, actually. I have a lot. These concealers do oxidize quite a bit. So um, first, I'm going to go in with this one, which is light. Uh, what is this this one is light neutral 15 um, and then I'll go in with light 20 I mean I might not need to because this one's gonna oxidize anyways as you guys can see it did oxidize so all right guys so before I go ahead and set with the powder I am going to be setting it with the morphe setting spray So moving on, we are going to be setting the face with the loose translucent powder. Um, this loose powder does have like a tint to it. 
it has kind of like a yellow tint to it this retails for nine dollars and it's very very small I feel like it did mattify the skin. I'm pretty sure you guys were able to notice the difference um, how I went from like super dewy to matte. This is what my face is looking like. I only have creasing on my eyelid and like right here. Very, very minimal. And then my pores are hella accentuated right here. But other than that, I feel like I like it. I really like the outcome of this powder. I don't know if maybe like the powder helped out the foundation or something, but I'm obviously going to continue to try this out. I'm not a fan of the coverage, so if you're looking for an intense full coverage foundation and you're extra as fuck like me, you're probably not going to like this, let's be real. Um, the powder the powder seems really good. I hope it doesn't separate you know, throughout the day, but so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's definitely not the most full coverage foundation I've tried yet it's not the most sheer i feel like i do have to use a lot of product though to actually get a medium coverage so i used one two three like four or five pumps to get medium coverage so uh, just keep that in mind so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish my eye makeup put on some brows and then i'll see you guys and kind of give you guys my final thoughts let you guys know how everything blended on top of this foundation seeing if the baking accentuated any pores any lines anything like that so what i'm gonna do is i'll catch you guys in a second all right guys so i am back with my full on face i know i said i wasn't gonna do anything crazy but you guys know me i'm extra as fuck overall i really like the powder i feel like the powder mattified the foundation like completely like my face is a matte to the beat um something else i want to mention about this foundation is that at first you guys saw how i was applying um i would recommend this foundation if you are the type of person that likes very sheer light coverage you know it is kind of buildable you know what i mean not too buildable but you can definitely build it to medium uh, coverage to be 100 percent honest with you guys it's not my cup of tea i rather have something full coverage this does state that it's full coverage and I just don't think that it's full coverage. I don't know where these people are getting it from, but this is not full coverage. Um, it's really cheap. I feel like it's a really cheap and affordable foundation. Like, how is ColourPop even making money, honestly? As I always say, makeup works differently for everybody. Um, even if I don't like a product, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work out for you vice versa it's the beauty of makeup um i always like to say that here on my channel because people like to get butt hurt when i don't like something you know um but the powder i really really like i feel like if you're looking for a really good mattifying powder this would be really good to be very honest with you guys it kind of reminds me of the laura mercier powder in the sense that it's super matte this is a powder that I wouldn't set my face with if I were to be using a mattifying foundation like one of my foundations just because I'm not a fan of the Laura Mercier powder. Now, if you're using a more dewier foundation, something like this would work out because this is super mattifying. So I feel like it, it'll go together, you know what I mean? Around my... Obviously right here, it's accentuating my pores like super, super bad. Um, but around my mouth, um, it's it looks really matte on my chin it kind of looks cakey so uh, let me get you all up in my face i know right too freaking close so this is the most i can zoom you guys into my face like mm, in my face then again keep in mind you guys that camera like you know what i mean like don't believe everything you see on camera move around everything looks good bitch the camera making me look good like in real life i don't even look like this um i still think my lips are crooked even after i got lip fillers like is that even normal is that even a thing like i feel like i need lip filler on this lip like no okay um but as you guys can see that is how my face is looking like real up close and personal um i don't know if you guys are able to tell i'm gonna try to like crop my face out just so you guys can like full on see what i'm talking about but right here no yeah right here it's accentuating my pores really really bad I don't know if you guys are able to see that and then on my chin 
it's not bad it's not the worst foundation i have ever tried in my entire life definitely not don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel if you're not yet a part of our t-squad family and also don't forget that i have a giveaway going on the last video which i'll link up here i'll link down below but i have a giveaway going on um i am going to be giving away two of the jacqueline hill and morphe palettes from the vault collection so if you are not yet part of our T-Squad family, subscribe, go follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and go check out that video so you guys can enter the giveaway. The rules are at the end of that video. With that being said, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video or review or tutorial or whatever it may be, vlog, who knows. Uh, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!